Hey everyone, welcome to another Photoshop quick tip. Today I'm going to show you how to set up presets for your files in Photoshop. You go to File and then New, and you see right here this preset menu. When I scroll down, all of these presets that you see here I've customized and set up myself. As a lot of you know, I do iPad landscape backgrounds and iPad portrait backgrounds and iPhone backgrounds as well as scrapbooking and I like to have these presets in here for the various things that I use Photoshop for so that I don't have to look up different sizes different sizes and resolutions right here this is my blog template that I have set up so these are all set up in here so when I want to start a new project inside Photoshop all I have to do is go to my preset and open up the file that best suits the project that I'm beginning to open okay so to set up a preset in here and by the way you can name them whatever you like so let's set up a new preset. I don't have any 5 by 7s in here, so let's set up a 5 by 7. So I'm going to go to Custom, and I'm going to change the width to 5, and I'm going to change the height to 7. And I always like to work in 300 pixels per inch. I can change the size later, but this is how I like to start out and 8-bit uh, RGB color and I'm going to do this one transparent but you have a choice you can do a white background or you can also choose a color for your background I mostly work with transparent backgrounds but um, you can I, I, you, I have some set up for white backgrounds as well so this one I'm going to set up with a transparent background and then now that I have all everything set up here I'm going to click this save preset button and there it already has the measurements in there for me and since I've selected transparent background for this one I'm going to name it transparent that way I can easily identify it in my preset list click OK and then now when I scroll down there is my 5 by 7 transparent preset Let's open that one up. So I select that, click OK, and there is the preset that I've just created. That's it for today's quick tip. Till next time, bye.